Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Today, this is another how to do video. We're going to test our water for uh, lead and pesticides. So in order to do that, we will need, um, of course, the uh, test kit. And we went to a uh, hardware store, big chain hardware store. And this is the... Uh, water testing kit. It's called ProLab. And this tests for everything. Yeah, it's going to cost a little more money, but this is probably the best water testing kit you can uh, get because it tests everything from pesticides to, um, you know, copper, lead, nitrates, iron. So it has all the tests. And if, as you can see, I open it already. These are all the things it tests. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so I already opened the packet already. So it comes with two small strips and then it comes with a dapper and then it has a little test tube here. So in here we have our water already. So you in or, you have to make sure that the water is cold for the test to uh, be the most effective. So here we go. We're going to do two drops as the instruction states. So that's one drop. And two drops. And then... The next thing you'll have to do is you take your two test strips and again one is for the pesticides as you can see here it says it on the strip. The blue ones for the pesticides and then the yellow ones for the lead. So let's go ahead and you have to make sure that both the test strips with the, the arrows are facing down. So you put one and two like so and then we have the timer here and, you, and it has to be exactly 10 minutes so let's go ahead and set that or start the timer now and see what the results are pulled out the test strips so it looks like number one is uh, darker than number two so according to this it says color line next to number two is darker than line next to number one. Okay, and again, this is the positive result. So again, if it's positive, then that is bad. So it looks like number one and both of these are darker than number two. Okay, and then actually the second test strip here says if the color line are equally dark the result are positive as well so it looks like number one is darker than number two on both test strip number one and test strip number two so again this is the lead test strip so this one actually is good and then there are no pesticides so there's not too much lead, I'm sure there's some lead in there somewhere because they are old pipes, but it's not enough to be, you know, affect our drinking water. So it appears that our drinking water and our faucet appears to be good. So again, this is a great test uh, to do at home uh, if you suspect of having lead pipes. And from what we hear, uh, from the neighboring city of Chicago by us. Uh, they have a lot of lead pipe issues. It's it's all over the news. So this is definitely a must. This is again, this is definitely a must on uh, getting these uh, test strips here. So again, here are the charts. These are the other tests that we haven't uh, tested yet but this was the main concern it was the pesticides and the lead so 
again, thank you very much for uh, watching one of my how to do videos and have a great day.